What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sunnyside TV. Today, I'm bringing a little Robo Thorium. Special thanks to Goblin Studios for giving me the opportunity to play this. I have not uh, touched this game yet. We are going to delve straight into it. This game does uh, describe itself as a cyberpunk dungeon crawler with strategy, crafting, party-based management, talents, and it's considered a roguelike. So let's just jump into it. All right, right off the bat, uh, Rebellion, Insurrection, Revolution, recommended for hardcore players. Fallen robots are permanently destroyed, and you lose the game if your whole team is defeated. Encountered enemies are more powerful. Your robots are destroyed. You'll need to repair them. Enemies are fought in their basic difficulty. So we're going to just do insur Insurrection. What's Rebellion? Your robots come back in your team when destroyed. Your robots come back in your team when destroyed. Enemies are weaker. This sounds more like my style here, playing a little Insurrection. Insurrection. 2052 robotics have been endowed with a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence. If I can skip this, I am. All right, we're going to skip past this. Let's skip past all the writing. So here we go. We got some cool robots. Do I get to choose? I get to choose three. All right, so they all have uh, abilities here on the right. Attack, defense. This one's like a completely balanced robot. Attack, defense, support, speed. All right. Uh if you guys look right here, we have a full attack, right? But he doesn't do any defense support. We have a full support. And then we have a balanced. But what do we have here? Attack, defense, support, speed. Right off the bat, gonna get the full support. Actually we have uh, I like this. I like this so far. Should I go with like a full on support? See, this one has the ability to support, but also has... I like the balance support. But you know what? Let's start off with the Zerker. I love the thought of this OP bot. It's not going to do anything but kick butt. We're going to take Lady. We're not taking War. You know what? Let's go with Scout. So I like robots. I like the theme cyberpunk I love that theme too so I'm excited let's see how this goes so I'm guessing we're kind of at the tutorial here exploration to move reachable room represents the arrow use a mini map to find your way through the level achieve the end goal okay so we're gonna go down you can interact with elements through actions Action, success. Okay, so we got a 70% chance to open that, I guess. They left some weapons lying around. We should use that opportunity to arm ourselves. All right, what did we get out of that? Looks like we got... I saw that we got some sort of item, but I couldn't see it. Rooms unveiling. I see that there's a left and a right on the bottom right minimap. Maximum danger level reached is on the bottom left. Some actions allow you to unveil unexplored rooms to get special bonuses. I see, but I don't think we're in that. Oh, we can hack the security camera. Oh, okay. Ah, so we hacked the camera. We were able to see ahead where there's some enemies. Uh, okay. Let's just go down. Surveillance destroyed. Let's hack it. Hacking seems to be the cool thing to do. We're going to go ahead and hack this. It's not letting me. I'm pressing X. There we go. Hacked. All right. So contains a goal for the mission. All right. Let's go this way. Okay. There's nothing in this room. So we're going to face some enemies here. Here we go. Level ones. All right. They're all level ones. So there's levels. I like that. Neutralize them. All right. Target. Line a line of fighters target all fighters. So it's showing AOE single line Most skills generate overload the base attacks of each robot reduces overload when a fighter reaches 100% overload He is stunned and stays unprotected for one tone. Oh, I see. Okay So overloads no bueno. So this is our we're on our attack dude right now So what do we have? So this is all single target. It deals damage and reduces. Okay, we're going to do this one. And it has a cooldown. Three turns. But let's do this one because it's going to hit everybody. Sweet. We missed the dude on the bottom though. 
So let me look at the abilities here. Deals. This is a basic shot. Generates 12% overload per turn. Increases the overload of an enemy by 10%. Applies overheat and mark target. Targeted by a drone. We don't have any drones though, do we? Splash ammo. Spreads all penalties from the targeted. Where's the support aspect of this? 35 pants to apply. Thorio focused and stocked. Chance to double enemies afflicted. So she doesn't have like a heal. I thought maybe there'd be like a heal. So we're going to have to change up these, this lineup at some point. But let's go ahead and uh, and try this one because it hits everybody. Oh, I had the wrong dude. I thought I had the chick chose. Okay, here we go. So I chose that one dude on the top because he had support, but it looks like it's more like he's a debuff type character. Regenerate the shield of an ally in a line. So this is my heal character. Applies damage transfer to an ally to the launcher. Uh, damage transfer. I don't like those types of <laughs> abilities. Implies applies immaterial burial to an ally damage taken reduced by 30%. Ooh, I don't like these abilities. The only one I like is a heal. In increase the speed. So we have no attack. Wow. So this person can't attack at all. That's tough. All right. So I guess we're going to have to put a shield, right? Can we put a shield applies? Let's, let's put a shield on somebody who's, who's already taken some hit hits I'm trying to I'm trying to target guy at the top it won't let me <laughs> I can't target my guy at the top maybe I'm not allowed to all right that's fine so we'll go ahead and just put a shield on dude in the middle oh I thought I put a shield <laughs> he's getting hurt all right can we so we now we have a uh, I think a cooldown right on this it said three turns now it's letting me attack again Let's just get a hit. Let's just hit directly with somebody here. So who's the weakest? Let's hit this person. Weak spot. All right. They got a lot of health going still. Splash ammo. Target analysis. That one hit everybody in the line. We're just going to do damage. So that got rid of my overheat. So that's cool. All right. We got the chick on. We're going to go ahead and have her heal. There we go. I see that my, my dude in the middle is getting starting to get overheated. He's at half. We're just going to see. Can we hit everybody in the line? I don't know what. Oh, I see. For three turns, we reduced resistance. So we can kind of keep using this ability as far as I can see. There we go. So they're knocked out. That dude at the top. Let's see if we can take this person out. Everyone's healing, which is cool. I'm not sure exactly why. Overload reduces 12% per turn. That's really good, actually. Applies damage transfer. Let's go ahead and do that. Honestly, we should have the healer in the middle then if there's like... Let's just hit everybody. Basic attack. All right, there we go. Down. Perfect. Change the launcher speed. And take. Let's see what this does. Take the mask off. Oh, that is so cool. So we took the mask off and now we can do attacks. Applies stock to an enemies, taking damage, regenerate shields. All right, let's just hit him with this. That's awesome. So I, at first I was just like, well, this character can only heal, but it's it goes by taking the mask off and on. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and hit him with this. Nice. Everybody keeps healing. I'm not even sure why. There must be some passive mechanics going on I'm not aware of. So that's awesome. Take the mask off. I could even charm an enemy. Conversion. Shield of all enemies. All right. Oh, my goodness. That, that chick's OP. So everybody gained some experience. We gained some rewards. I wonder what that stuff is. Can we inspect it? Oh, did I hit the button? I might have hit the button. Yep, I hit the continue button. I, get, I didn't get to see that loot. Oops, went the wrong way. All right, let's go back this way. So what am I supposed to do? Let's hack it. Hacking always seems fun. Unveiling bonuses. That's success of chance of all actions in the room. Speed of enemies regrouped by 50%. Sweet. 
All right, so I'm getting more familiar with these combat mechanics for sure. So we're going to have this dude hit everybody. So we can only hit two at a time. We can't hit three. So let's hit these two down here. Nice. We're going to have her take the mask off. And we're going to have her do... Oh, shoot. Put the mask back on. <laughs> this is OP. She's got like eight abilities. Nobody else has got that. I didn't realize. I thought I was in... Um, I thought I had to get into the offense mode, but I was already in it. So there we go. 52. Good stuff. Order shoot. We're just going to keep hammering at everybody here. Actually, let's hit everybody here in a line, right? Let's hit these two. So we're stacking the debuffs on these two. Oh, the guy at the top's healing everybody. That's tough. We probably need to take out that healer. Oh, man. All right. Let's just focus all our energy on that dude up there. We're going to have her put her mask on. Let's heal our guy at the top. There we go. Cooling. He's cooling. Let's mark him with a drone. Oh, my goodness. He is healing good. We got to focus all our energy on that dude up there. Hit him with a weak spot. I think he's got like a regen going, a healing regen. Uh, mark target, overheat. Can we hit him with a target analysis? No, that didn't do anything. Put the mask back on. Let's let's attack. There we go. He's down. Okay, perfect. The two dudes at the bottom are still completely debuffed. The good thing is we they don't have a healer anymore. Got to always take out the healer. We're going to go ahead and hit him with that. Awesome. So I'm digging the... Com I love games that have combat like this where it's just like you're having to strategize, especially when the enemies are sitting there healing too. That's awesome. I love seeing that. The AI to me seems pretty smart. Granted, this is the beginning of the game. You're not really going to lose unless you play super bad. All right. Let's, keep, let's just keep hitting with everything we got here. What's our most powerful attack? Hit him with that. Oh my goodness, he's still alive. So I will say that the graphics, they're pretty basic. Nothing stands out to me. Let me actually look at some of the stuff here. So we got, we, oh, we got a blueprint for your headphones. Okay. And all right, so cool. So we do have some crafting, it looks like. I guess we're going to have to test that out as soon as we're out of here. All right, so let's go down. It looks like we're done clearing the enemies. Survival crate. I find it weird that it says 70% electronic components. We might be able to cobble something together with the, that. All right, cool. Another survival crate. Ooh, reformat. No password can resist us. I wonder what happens if I don't open up these crates. 65%. It looks like we're not failing, which is good. According to this, there's something danger level negative 30. All right, so I don't know what I did with that. All right, let's leave. Perfect. Do we get everybody leveled up? You and your robots are safe. Welcome to the secret base. So we got some loot. We got everybody to level two. All right. I do want to try out some of the other robots. Let me see if we can look at the equipment. Uh, all your items are gathered in the inventory, equipment, consumable and components. Robots can be affected by granting them bonuses. So let's check this out over here. So what do we have? So we actually have loot loot. Like some of this right here is showing upgrades. I don't know what that thing on the right means, though. Let me look. Where is the equipped items? Right here. 34, 3.4. For a rifle. So let me look on the right. It says 147. So let's say I wanted to equip my top dude with this. What happens? So his DPS went up to 174. But whatever that thing is. I think maybe it's speed. 
You guys look at the 142 that went down. Tom and bottom. Let, let me see what this does. Okay, so that's just a bonus. So I'm not too familiar with some of the stats, dude. The 121 is probably my health. 195, I'm not sure what that is. Some of these things I don't know what they are. This is, it says I have talents. Let me see if I can do that. All right, sweet. So we got a talent tree for every single robot. All right. Supersonic ammo ignores enemies. If the target of the hammered are slower. Critical hail of bullets. Hail of bullets has a chance to land a critical strike on enemies slower. Enhanced speed. If loaded shots, this guy's already really fast. Increases the damage bonus of launcher speed. Corrosion. Corrosion takes damage equivalent to 10%. So let's get this one. Sweet. All right. Sweet. So that's cool. I like how there's the loot aspect to this. I love it. I think that's awesome. I'm a loot junkie. If you guys don't know me here on this channel, big loot junkie. I like that. Let's go to the hangar. I'm guessing the hangar is just me. This we're able to buy and sell robots. However, these technolog not technological masterpieces are not what you call cheap. T repaired in exchange for some res. No robots available for sale. So we don't have any robots available for sale, but we could actually sell our robots. There's a black market. All right. That's really neat. I like that. The workshop. I can't. Looks like I can't mess with the workshop yet. Ooh, so we have a another location, but the enemies are level two, so I think we're gonna have to stick with the regular robot. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to equipment if I can. And let's mess with the three robots we got and give them all talents and stuff. Just because it looks like we're gonna have to stick with the same team. I wanted to try out some new robots, just since they're putting us in a level two area. I don't wanna risk losing any. I'm trying to get to my talents. It's moving a little quick. No. Oh, I, it's because I got to press that button. All right, so here we go. Let me get some talents. So everybody's got different abilities. This is like my support robot. Robotic coordination also applies one random bonus to the targeted ally. Chance to apply sturdiness. Splash ammo. Chance to turn one random bonus into a random penalty. Target analysis uh, to apply its effect. We're going to choose that one. And you can even reset it too, so I like seeing that. You're not happy with your talents. Let's equip it some stuff. Oh no, this is this is crafting materials to be used at the workshop. All right, so let's let's change robots to the chick, the OP chick. She's awesome. I like her. All right, let me mess with the talents. Now she's a support, so if we can give her healing type support, that's good. Powerful acting also increases the overload of enemies. Artistic performance, damage reflection, reduces overload. So I don't actually see a lot of healing bonuses. With the exception of that one, each heal receive increases power. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. Perfect. Can we equip her any gear? So we can. So she's got specific gear that dropped just for her. So all the loot is specific to certain people. This guy got like a ton of loot. All right, sweet. And I don't think dude over here got any loot. All right, so let's go. We're good to go. Me just fumbling through all this stuff. All right, let's hit this level two. Joe, we're just going to skip past all this stuff. Let's get straight into the dungeon. The, the thing that I would wonder about this game, if you're able to kind of choose where you want to go, because I would love to go back and mess with the other robots that we have. All right, let's go up. So I'm guessing, yep, we're about to run into a team. I do like the team I assembled. They're pretty good. All right. So let's 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 hit the AOE dudes. I don't know if any Oh, the guy at the bottom usually is a healer, right? And see, he's separated in the target line. So I get that now. So if that healer was actually standing more forward, um He'd get hit by all three, but because he's standing in the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to just focus on him down there. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. He's already healing. 
All right, we're going to focus on him hardcore. I love the music in the background. <laughs> fits fits the gameplay. Ooh. Ooh, he just took some some tough hits. We are like we're doing everything to this dude at the bottom right now. We are trying our best. 94. Oh, that didn't hit much. I love that everybody's getting healed up. I don't know how they're getting healed up, but I'll take it. There you go. She's just like AOE healing everybody. Ooh, he's really getting beat up on. We're going to have to heal him here in, a, in the next thing here. All right, let's hit with just a basic attack. There we go. Is he down? Okay, perfect. So now let's hit these dudes with the AOE attack. We're going to have her heal our buddy up there. Just got to put that mask back on. Ooh. All right, whose turn is it? Let's see if we can hit him with that target analysis. Nice. Uh, let's hit the guy in the middle. Ooh, 184. That hit it for a lot. He is getting pelted up there. Regenerate shield. How do we... Can we do it? Do we have a direct heal? We don't... I don't think I do. Dang. We're going to reduce his damage. I don't want him to go down. I think if the robot goes down, we're like in deep trouble. It'll be like two on three this whole time. Oh, he's almost dead. Did we just hit them with hit hit them with the yeah, I think let's hit him with this AoE. There we go. Generates the shield of an ally line by applies fifty percent. Alright, let's just heal. See, it's funny because we could AoE heal, but because he's standing on his own up there, and now I can't target him again. Son of a gun. There we go. So we healed him up for a little bit. We also got his uh, overheat mechanic down. So the longer these battles go, the overheat mechanic really starts to play a part. So now we're completely overheated. And we lose a turn, but it didn't matter because we won perfect. All right. Attack that bit. Can we hack him? Let's hack him. 65%. I'm waiting for me to fail on one of these. I wonder what happens if we fail. <laughs> uh, all right. So we got an enemy up above. I'm going to explore some of these other rooms. Defense turret. Uh, we can't act. We can hack it. 30%. We're going to try deactivating it. Nice. Trap dodged. We got a locked door over here. Okay. Uh, map legends. All right, let's go up. Do we unlock the door? Is that what happened? This is not operational, but maybe you could upload it yourself. Abandoned robot. Reporting for duty. Is he going to fight with us? Ooh, all right. I like that. We just added a robot to our group. I like that. That's cool. So you're able to kind of run into a robot and add him to your team. Yeah, he looks like a defense robot, like a tank robot. He's got high defense, high support. I like that. I think the fun of this game is it's going to be messing with robots, different types of robots, and kind of seeing what you can do with them. I think that's awesome. Looks like I thought we might have left something back here. Oh, shoot. Oh, do we have a four-man team rolling with us now? Oh, dang. All right. So we got that tank robot on our team. I didn't even notice that until now. <laughs> so that's awesome. All right, let's deactivate him. We're going to fail at some point, right? Trap dodge. All right, we'll take it. Let's open that. Danger level opens. Did we fail? Toxicate. Is there any reason for me to take that right? 
Intimidate, neutralize, discuss. <laughs> okay. All things considered, you guys aren't as wild as they say you are. All right, let's fight these dudes. So now we got four versus four. We have the Riot Man. Let's see what he's got. Everybody's fully healed, right? All right. Oof. Stalked. All right. So we're going to take the mask off. Everybody's at full health. We don't need to. Conversion can stack up to four lines. Each hit received increases power by 5%. So this is like a buff. Let's buff these two up in front. There we go. So who do we got up here? Can we attack people on a line? Yeah, we got three dudes. We're going to hit them on all AoEs right now. All right, whose turn is it? So we got the tank robot. What can he do? 82 damage to an enemy, one single guy. To an enemy in a line, 25% chance. Oh, this is really good. Why wouldn't I just spam this ability every time? Let's see what happens if I can spam it. Because it says I can stun him. So there we go. We stun two of them. That's like super useful. Ooh, picking on the healer in the back. Good block. Good block, buddy. All right, what we got here? We're just going to hit directly attack these, these these fools. This person's almost down. 76 charmed. Why isn't my guy in the back attacking? I think his turn got skipped. All right, we're going to focus. Let's just focus on this dude at the bottom. That didn't do much. Can I stun again? Can't do anything. I mean, I don't know why I don't just spam this ability every time. So nobody got stunned this time, though. The crappy part is my guy at the front isn't attacking. So can I move? Let's see if we can move people. Because right now, if I could, I would move my tank. I don't think I can. I don't see the ability to move at all. Oh, here we go. Now he's attacking. Hit everybody in a line. Nice. Everyone's almost down. Let's see if she can take out. Oh, no. I hit the wrong guy. Okay, he's down anyways. He's down. He's down. That tank is pretty powerful. He is pretty powerful, not going to lie. Interestingly enough, the chick... I, I haven't forgotten about the overload mechanic, but she's almost overloaded right now. So what can we do to unoverload ourselves? Is there any ability? She is. Can we just do it on ourselves? There you go. So I just like took down my overload. Cyber bolus. Let's see. Let's see what that does. It reduces speed. All right. He's actually overloaded. He just overloaded himself, but it doesn't matter. He's down. Right now, this has been easy mode, especially with the addition of the tank. Holy crap, the fact he can stun anybody, everybody in the line is nuts. Alright, let's gather that. Give me some loots. Did we get anything for that? Get some gear together. So I think that's part of our mission to gather that stuff. So We have not been going the wrong way. Oops, did I forget something here? Oh no. Uh, let's deactivate it. There it is. Finally failed. Let's see what happens. Removes all bonuses from the team. I don't think I had any bonuses, <laughs> so I'm good. We got a group up here. The tech mode doctor, we got to target him first. He's probably going to be standing in the back. What I'll do is I'll do AoEs on the guys that can do AoEs, so the stun and the main guy, and we'll have the dude in the back try to focus. Or should we just focus? That's tough. See, he just shielded everybody, too. Dang. All right, let's see if we can focus on this guy in the back. That's tough, though, because I don't think he can heal everybody. I don't know what's the best thing to do. All right, let's take off the mask. So we're, like, barely taking his shield off right now. Apply its effects. Damage increased. 
Oh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, let's see if we can hit this guy in the back. So we're all going to get beat up right now by the three guys in the front. Yo, if they're going to attack my tank, that's awesome. Keep it going. He's barely taking any damage. Oh, he's almost down. One more hit. Oh, she can take him out, right? Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. No. How did he not die? That's weird. He's not dying. Oh, there we go. Finally. All right. Now we can focus on these three. Ooh, protect an ally. I like that. All right. We're just going to hit him with the AOE abilities now. Nobody got stunned there. Ooh, he's, he's getting beat up. He's at half health. We're going to see if we can heal him up. <laughs> the, the AOE moves are pretty OP. Let's see if we can heal that guy up there, though. Oh, we're going to heal both our guys. That's awesome. There he is. So she's got a line heal, which is awesome. Can we AOE everybody here? Let's, let's just do that. There we go. We debuff everybody. That's not doing anything. I love it. Keep aiming at our tank. The AI obviously not super smart. <laughs> they just keep aiming, uh, aiming at our uh, AI. So I mean, the the drawback is that that you can't theoretically spam your abilities. But the thing is, like, and we're gonna go ahead and do this so we can drop. Oh, that didn't work. I was hoping I was gonna drop our overheat. So when you're doing those line abilities, I mean, the drawback more than anything is the overload mechanic. You're just overloading yourself. There we go. So let's hit these dudes with a shockwave. That might end it right there. All right, we took out that guy. Nice. All right, everybody level three except for the riot man. I'm hoping to see some boss fights. I think that's the that's the one thing. If I can see a boss fight at the end of this, I'm going to be really excited. Uh, let's see here. Have mercy. We're just doing our job. Let's spare the engineers. Super machine human humanobots. So there's some sort of reputation system there going. All right. So that's it. So there's a level three... So the next, is there any way we can choose our missions at all? Hmm. I wonder if we're just following the story right now and then eventually we get to choose. Cause I would love to try different robots, but that's going to be it for me guys. This game, Robo Thorium, it's got, it does. I, I see the roguelike elements for sure. Uh, it's got loot. It's got all these, I mean, if you like robots, you like, oh, and we have access to the black market too. Let me show that real fast. I mean, this, this game looks like it's got quite a bit to offer. Like it looks fun. You, you have to kind of have like an acquired taste for these types of games because there's a lot of them here on the switch, but this to me is a pretty good game. It definitely has my recommendation. I can see me playing this for sure outside this video. I have a lot of games like this now on the switch, but this is one of those games that you kind of just add it to your list. It's a fun game. I love robots, so that kind of helps too. Uh, so this is the black market, right? Can we, that's my inventory. How do I see what we can buy? So this is all the stuff that you can buy here in the, the black market. Oh shoot, don't buy it. Oh, here we go. So that's cool. So we got crafting mechanics. The workshop's not uh, available to open yet, unfortunately, but uh, I think that's excellent. Let's see if there's any robots to buy. No robots for sale yet. But I do want to say the game is fun. It, it's fun. I like it. Uh, I do want to see if there's the ability to possibly travel a little bit and choose different robots. Because I don't know if going with a bunch of level 1 robots into a level 3 would be ideal. But 
I love the different options for robots, the different ways you can build your team. So th there's a lot to digest in this game. But check this game out, guys, on the Nintendo eShop. Robothorium has good reviews on Steam as well, mostly positive. Check this game out. And yeah, and that's going to be for me, guys. If you uh, do me a huge favor, hit that sub button, hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. And yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Take care and have a good one.